Now, on this day, one year ago, Australia woke up to the news that Olivia Newton-John had died. The world lost an icon and Olivia's loved ones lost a friend, a wife and a mum. But as her daughter Chloe told me earlier this year, her legacy will live on. She made me and um, her dreams are my dreams and I was with her in the last two years, taking care of her, John and I, and seeing what people go through with cancer. Um, there's nothing, there's no greater mission. Olivia's family are keeping that legacy alive, embracing the entertainment icon's annual Walk for Wellness, which raises funds for her cancer wellness and research centre. Olivia's niece, Toddy Goldsmith, joins us now. Good morning to you. It's a significant day, isn't it? And no doubt, mixed emotions. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's, it's still, you know, I've been getting text messages from you know, family, family, friends, family in America, and we're all just kind of grappling with it. Still, it's sort of mm -hmm. like she's here and then she's not. And so, and this often happens when you lose someone that's a very big part of your life. They feel like they're around you and they feel like they're with you, and but you can't reach out to them. And it's, it's, yeah, I can't believe it's a year. It's, it's, mind-boggling that it was a year ago. I don't know about anyone else if they mm. feel like it was six mm. months ago, but it's, um, it's a really strange feeling, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I, I, we know what you mean. And, and it's interesting that you, that you say it feels like she's around us. Mm. Uh, I, I suppose someone with so much presence and so much music. Chloe did say that to me when I interviewed her and John, that she, she felt like mm. her mum was there, was around her. Yeah, I do too, and especially when I need her. And um, this wellness walk, that's, I mean, we were so close anyway, just as family, and she stepped in when our, our mother left on an emotional sense. And, but doing, working with her at the ONJ Centre was a, just another layer to our relationship. And last year when the walk came up, it was so surreal and overwhelming because especially that moment where we, the walk takes off and lives normally in the middle and all my siblings and cousins and we're all around holding hands and her not being there last year so soon after her passing was really empty and quite overwhelming but this year Chloe's going to be here mm. so we're going to be holding hands <laughs> and the family and that will help fill that gap but it's um it's beautiful putting grief into purpose it really is and I think that's what got me through her passing last year was having this purpose driving me and it still is and it always will. And uh, Olivia we know was a campaigner against cancer and trying to uh, make lives of cancer sufferers better, easier, uh, more comfortable. The walk comes up in October 8th. Just take us through why it is yeah. so important to keep growing this thing. Well, it's an important message about cancer. I mean, Olivia, when she went through her cancer journey, she had to shop and find oncology acupuncture, oncology massage. She had her own music therapy and she bought in art therapy, but a lot of the therapies out in the hospital are what she desperately needed. So she's put them all under one roof. And it's so important for the patients because Liv always said, I see them whole body, mind and spirit and it is because there's a lot of anxiety that goes with a cancer diagnosis and cancer treatment and to be in a facility where that is understood and that is nurtured mm. and helping pass the time because a lot of people are in there for a while. This was her dream and this is a very important message to go out to the world and I've already noticed some cancer centres are starting to do it mm. and live, you know, started this and I'm so proud of her. Yeah. But it's, it's very important for the patients and it's very important for me personally because she handed the baton to me and I took it very seriously I, when I was working with her on the centre and she saw my drive for it and then um, asked me to be Goodwill Ambassador with a big surprise party. She didn't ask me, she told me. <laughs> and um, it's very important for me and, and my relationship with her because just because she's gone doesn't mean that relationship doesn't exist and this relationship is extremely important to me mm -hmm. and having Chloe on board just makes it that much better, better. Yeah. to share this it's with her yeah. and that much more powerful for us because you know she did this and this was her legacy this was what was really 
deeply mm. important to her. Yeah. I mean, I watched her when people were talking about her songs and her movies. She'd always segue it exactly. back to the, the wellness walk. And, yeah, and it's very is, important for our community. It's going to continue. Yeah, that's how we can honour her. Um, mm. Good luck. You're doing an amazing job, Toddy. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. And, and also, can I just say before we go that people can still register. It's really important. Yeah. Yes, people can we're walk about to put the virtually details all on. over the world and, yes. and raise money. So that'd be yes. Can we're you right sign up? behind it, Toddy. Thank yeah. you so much for giving us more information Thanks. as well, and yeah. uh, for giving us a little bit of reflection on Olivia a year on. For more details, jump on the Sunrise website, and you can find all of that to register for the walk.